And another fine morning in Derbyshire. So I decided this time to head out to Lumsdale. There's a waterfall here, a few ponds and old bleaching works, and it's an, it used to be an old mill. If you're coming from Chesterfield, it will only take you 15 minutes. Just before you get into Matlock, on the left, I've come to the Highfield School. There's parking opposite. I'll be heading down there behind me, and then it branches off to the left, and there's a beautiful walk. So let's go and explore. Come to this fork in the road, take this left here. Okay? All right. Now this is the old dam wall with a couple of beautiful little waterfalls right in front of me and one to the left there. It reminds me of Angkor Wat a bit. I've never actually been there, but you know the old, um, the photos you see everywhere with the huge tree uh, going into the foundations of the building. Yeah. There's a delightful little corner um, at the end of the, um, the lower pond and there's some railings and you can get really close to the waterfall. I might even try and get even closer with my drone. When you see the chimney on your right, just follow it down a bit further. And the only way in now, and you need to know this between 1st of May and 1st of October, as of 2023, it might be different in future years, but it's only open in the summer months for conservation purposes and erosion control. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Such a lot of character this place absolutely delightful little hidden gem there's the old mill behind me there there's the waterfall it goes right the way to the bottom i'll try and get some from the bottom as well It would seem that Lumsdale is the gift that keeps on giving. Another part of the waterfall there, right down to the bottom. Amazing. Well worth coming here, guys. I've got to say, I've thoroughly enjoyed that. And last time I came was about a year and a half ago. All the waterfall parts were closed down. So yeah, make sure that you come between May and 1st of October or you might be a little bit disappointed. Saying that, it's still absolutely spectacular without the middle bit. You've still got the ponds at the top and you can see the waterfall. Uh, you just can't get into the most spectacular bits. But yeah, uh, really worth just a 15 minute trip from Chesterfield and you can spend a good couple of hours here. All right, enjoy yourself. Take care.